Sup guys, in this episode I'm going to teach you how to give your brain a minor aneurysm. So yeah, I'm back. Uh, sorry I've been gone so long, uh, I've been doing quite a bit of things over the past few weeks, or months, or... Uh... When was, when was, when was, when was the, last the last video, video uploaded? uploaded? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, also I got I just got my retainers in, so if it sounds like I have a lisp at all, uh, that's probably why, but hopefully that goes unnoticed. Anyway, we're learning about portals in this episode because there's no such thing as a portal to mapping series without the, the shooty hole things. To create portal and hammer, uh, create an entity, and we're gonna change this because, of course, you have to change the entity, and every single episode we do, we change the entity. Like, come on guys, like, keep up, that's what we do. Like, just look, I can't have, like, two bloody info player starts in my level, because that's just stupid. Who do that? What kind of stupid person would have more than one info player start in a Portal 2 map? We're gonna change this to a prop portal. And, uh, you won't actually see a portal, uh, show up in Hammer. What you'll actually see is this uh, colourful blob thing. But don't worry, this is a portal. Because Hammer says so. So what we're gonna do is we have this wall here and we're gonna place it right at the centre of this wall. And make sure that the wall you are placing this portal on is uh, a portable sir Portable? Portable? Yes, you can move this surface around, guys. Uh, this needs to be a portable surface, uh, otherwise, your portal won't appear because for so long, in preparation for this tutorial, I kept on placing a portal uh, on this wall and then in game it just wouldn't show up. Uh, and then I realized that this wall isn't designed for shooting portals on. So make sure you keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm going to change the name of this because you, of course you've got to give it a name. Call mine Jerry. And then the next thing you want to change, uh, the start activated state. Uh, we want it inactive, but you can have it active. And then the next thing you need to do is change the portal number. So portal 1 is blue, and portal 2 is the sequel. <laughs> I'm going to change this to portal 2. And then that should be it. I'm going to copy this, and I have this other room created here. And I'm gonna, just going to paste it on the other side. Of course, we can't have two Jerry's, so I'm going to call this one Blimble Dimble. And then I'm going to change this one to portal 1. Now, there is a problem that we have at the moment, and it's the fact that uh, both these portals aren't facing the right way. And the reason why I know this is because if you look at the top view, we can see this yellow line here, and the yellow line represents where the portal is facing. And right now, we want it to face this way, and currently it's facing... Okay, never mind, it's, it's facing the right way. But over here, with this portal facing the wrong way, we want it to face towards us. So we're just going to rotate it like that. I also have this button here that we're going to use to control the two portals on pressed. And we want Jerry to set his activated state to 1. And we also want to do that for Blimble Dimble. And basically, once you've done that, you're good to go. But as you can see, I have this prop dynamic here, which is set to this model. And usually you see them if you've got portals that were automatically created uh, beforehand. You'd have these portal frames here, or portal emitters. And I've called this one portal frame, and on this one I've called this portal frame one. And what we're going to do is on the button, on pressed, portal frame, we're going to set the skin to 2. Remember portal 2 is the sequel to portal 1, remember that. But also it means orange, so therefore, portal frame, skin 2, is orange. And we also want to copy that. We want portal frame 1 to be skin 1. Remember that will render blue. And you know what, why not? Let's uh, copy this button and paste it to the other side. What we're going to do is just do the complete opposite of this. Uh, goodbye, uh, Jerry and Blimble Dimble. You had a fun time uh, together. You had a happy relationship, but now you have to go. And we also want the two portal frames, we're going to change the skin to zero as well. Like so. And I think you should be good to go. So if we run our map now, we have our button and our thing. 
It works perfectly. So we've got our emitter, it's shining orange. Go over to the other side, we have a blue portal, and the emitter is shining blue. And if you press this button, uh, you are now stupid because uh, we're now trapped. Uh, so well done. You get a round of applause. <laughs> right, now we're getting into the fun part of the episode. So the thing you saw at the beginning of the video is what we're making now. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so in the same way we can create regular portals uh, in Portal 2 specifically, and this is only for the Portal 2 authoring tools, you get another special type of portal. So once again, let's create another portal. But this time, we want a linked portal door. I don't know what the, di what is this? Prop linked portal door. That is a different thing. This is what we want. As you can see, you know it's a portal because it displays a, uh, a colorful blob thing. And in the same way, uh, we positioned the regular portal portals because I made two of them. Let's align this with the center of the block, the archway, and I actually want it facing this way. So remember this yellow line is facing the wrong direction so we're going to rotate it. So it's facing that way now. And then here's where it gets interesting. I'm actually going to give this uh, a, a normal name like door. This can get a little complicated. I'm going to try and explain it as best as I can. But essentially, what the width and height mean is that it's the width from the center of the portal. So as you can see, this says the width and the height is 128 units. Therefore, it's going to go 128 units up, 128 units down, 128 units left, and 128 units uh, right. So really, the width and height of the portal is 256 units in height and width. In order to calculate our size, so right now it's telling us that this gap here is 96 units tall and 64 units wide. Uh, in order for this to work properly, all you've got to do is just half those two values. So really, th we're going to actually input 32 units in width and... Oh crap, hold on. What is half of 96? Holy crap, I am stupid, hold on. Oh god, this is embarrassing. 48. Okay, I wasn't far off. What we're going to put in here, the width is 32 and the height is 48. And then what we're going to do is copy this. I'm going to go over to this room where I've got a similar looking um, doorway. And then I'm just going to place it here and rotate this outwards so it's facing this way and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the name to door one and the link partner will be called door and right now you can see this red line going across like that and if i go over here i'm going to change the link partner to door one and there we go now all we got to do is just control these two buttons here so with this one I've just called this on button and I select the delay before the reset to minus one. And this is called off button and the same thing applies here. So I'm going to add an output, I'm pressed, I'm going to select the door and we're going to open. And of course you need to do that with door one. And also I'm going to select the off button and press out. And let's just copy this to the other side and do the complete opposite. Close and on button so now if we run our map here we have this doorway if i press this button uh i positioned the portal a bit wrong okay so if you weren't being stupid like i was uh you should see something like this and it looks very cool so yeah that's you that's how you can create cool optical illusions so that's the end of this episode guys if you liked it give it a thumb and if you liked it even more than a thumb you can hit the big red button it says subscribe let's get to let's get to 2k guys 2k subscribers